let's talk about Day of the Dead, Dia de los Muertos. What do you think it is? Do you think it's basically like American Halloween? That's what I thought it was. And the truth is, it has very little in common with American Halloween. So kids don't trick or treat. Uh, there are people in costumes and they do parades, but really Day of the Dead is much more akin to Memorial Day than it is to Halloween. So if you're up for it, come with us and let's figure out just exactly what Day of the Dead is. So today we're having an adventure for Dia de los Muertos. We paid for a tour and uh, they're gonna take us all around, kind of show us what Day of the Dead is about. And hey, we'd love it if you came along. First stop, the Merced Market. So here we're looking for ingredients for mole and all of the things that we'll use to create the ofreta. We also have a tradition that we share the dead. Mm -hmm. We share the muertos. That's how we call it. So every family be prior to day of the dead needs to prepare with, depending on the size of your family, mm -hmm. lots of loaves of bread, okay. mm -hmm. a big amount of chocolate, mole, kilos of mole, and then you prepare them in boxes. And then you start sharing them and you go around with your close family and you say, tus muertos, I brought your muertos, tus muertos. Oh. Here's how you roll out cacao the old fashioned way. <laughs> So we're working now putting together the ofrenda and there are three levels here. The top level represents heaven, the middle level represents the world, and the bottom level represents the underworld. So things are put on different levels and have different meanings. We've got the big bread on top and there's a lot of piles of fruit in between and everything has kind of a decorative paper under it. And then we've also got the corn and some drunken, drunk people down here. I don't know who they are. Very embarrassing. Just shameful. We're going to do the ceremony first, and then you can end up there. This is for my grandmother. Mm -hmm. I got one for my mom. I think I'm going to do Austin. Oh. 
We are putting all sorts of stuff down here. This was bathing on the white, though. I guess everything's supposed to be on color. Right. Uh, you want to try? Uh, sure. This special altar is dedicated to my family members first. Especially, like I mentioned before, this year is very important because it's dedicated to my grandpa. He, this is the first year he's coming back. And my great-great-grandparents that already passed away several years ago. But they, they are the ones that started the family. So photos are important because this is who we are honoring. My grandfather and my great-grandparents. They're his parents. They passed away, all of them already. My grandfather passed away last year. Yes. It's my dad's dad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Pedro also. That's Pedro. Yeah. Pedro Senior. Uh-huh. That's right. That's right. And for us as a family, it's very um, emotional because he's coming back. This is the first year he comes back. So we are excited, emotional. Everything is in the family this year. He passed away in May. But last day of the dead, he was not here because it was very recent. He was transcending the limbus and he was transcending the underworld. It takes a year to come back, to get to heaven and then come back. So after the year, he made it. And now this year, he came back. And we're very excited because we were expecting him. I, I was very close to him, so we were expecting him. Mm -hmm. So what we do, we bless the altar first with the copal. The copal brings out all the bad, negative energy, anything, you name it, but personal. So what you drop in the copal is something you're letting go and asking your ancestors, take it with you. I don't need it anymore. Okay? And then you place the skull there to who you, whoever you want to honor. Okay, so I'm just going to bless it first and thank you for coming back. All right, who wants to start? Make sure you grab it right from the bottom because it's very hot. Hey, we have to take one for the road. And you know what happens sometimes? You walk a little bit and uh, they come in the, the people from the kitchen. Hey, I had the caminera also. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh! You have to do it. Yeah. So I have to go the door. So ready? Yeah, you were walking through the door. Hey, stop, stop, stop. Hey. Oi!
besos llevo en el alma Llorona que no se apartan de mí Dos besos llevo en el alma Llorona que no se apartan de mí El último 